People have asked me to comment on a Sargon of Akkad statement about race. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what he's saying right here. People into the new country and then say, right, you are now French. That doesn't work because people are different. And there are people who are like, ah, well, what are you saying? This is race. I was like, no, it's not race because North Africans genetically are basically the same as Southern Europeans. So North Africans basically are genetically the same as South Europeans. Because, of course, North Africa and the Mediterranean region has been a, a, a melting pot, dare you use the term, for the last 2,000, 3,000 years. Like, all of these people have been in close contact with each other. There have been uh, empires that have spanned the entire thing. There's been a great movement of population. So these people are racially very, very similar. Right? You probably wouldn't be able to tell a North African from a Spaniard or an Italian by looking at them. Right? The skin tone is basically the same, but they come from different civilizations. Um, is that true? No, it is not true. Uh, people were publishing, uh, publishing PCAs. Uh, this one, for example, Europeans are well separated. Now, this is not a particularly interesting PCA because it doesn't show much populations from North Africa. I mean, you have Middle Eastern populations here, but you can see the Spanish, uh, the Basque. So South popula Southern populations of Europe are definitely within the European cluster. Uh, rather than this PCA that was published on Twitter, I like to look at this PCA because at least it, it, it uh, contains some of the things we're talking about. Uh, for example, here, let's take... Um, ch -ch -ch -ch. We have... Uh, Greek. I believe we have Basque here. So Basque is here. It is a Southern European population spreading between Spain and France. We have Spanish here, Spanish right here. And then uh, I believe that there were some North African countries that, that are truly in Moroccan, Moroccan Jew right here. And that is Moroccan Jews. Now, uh, the, the non-Jews, they will lay pretty much here or perhaps even here. So it is definitely, there is a distinction between Moroccans and Spaniards. And that distinction could be enough to warrant a different appearance, warrant a different uh, behavior, warrant different, uh, different characteristics of cognition. Another North African country, Libyan, Libyan Jews, uh, right here, separated from Spaniards. Now, of course, if you add super distant groups, you're going to realize that this is a point of a set of two axes that are like this, and it's kind of laying together at the point, but not together to the point of being basically the same. Together to the point where we can say, yes, these populations are intermixed and relatively close, but they are completely distinct enough that you could detect differences uh, in behavior, that you could detect differences in phenotype. Uh, Aaron Kasparov says, European diversity is the good kind of diversity. Oh, well, uh, any statement about diversity uh, is wrong i've i've uh, i've made the case for this uh people who talk about diversity being good or bad in and of itself uh they they haven't thought it through uh there, there is always a point you can bring diversity to uh where you you wouldn't want diversity like would you want diversity between murderers and non-murderers or do you think that society is better with no diversity on the murderer axis. Uh, obviously, you'd have to argue that we don't want murderers. Uh, that's why we put them in jail. Uh, so, so saying that diversity in and of itself has a moral value is, is demonstrably wrong because you can always make a case of an axis of diversity that someone wouldn't want of.
um, 